For my new Arduino building project, I need a little LCD that can show a number, and I didn't have one of these typical 16x2 characters LCDs at hand. Hmm, what could I get from the local cheaper store that does the job? How about that? Yes, this video is about the rather stupid idea to hook up a calculator to an Arduino to use it as a display. By using only the keys clear, one, plus and equal, I can make a calculator show any number. For example, the number 345 would be 111 plus 111 plus 111 plus 11 plus 1. Because there are three 111s, I can repeatedly press the equals button instead of typing in 111 three times. This saves me quite some key presses for longer numbers. I analyze the keypad of this calculator. The keypad has 23 keys. The underneath foil contact sheet has a connector with 11 wires. With other words, the lines are what is called multiplexed. These 11 wires would theoretically not be enough to represent the 23 keys. Imagine a grid of 5 by 6 wires and each key closes one of the intersection points when pressed. By finding out which wires are closed, 5 plus 6 wires, with other words 11 wires, are enough to detect each key. Each key closes two contacts, of which one is at 0 volt and the other one at 1.5 volt, which is the battery voltage of this calculator. When the contact is closed, the voltage gets dragged down to 0. It wouldn't be enough to have the Arduino dragging down that contact to zero to simulate a key press, because there are so to speak different zeros and the calculator wouldn't know which key was pressed. And so I built this little converter board. Each of the four keys is connected via a transistor, with the emitter connected to the correct zero volt line and the collector connected to the correct high contact. The base is connected to the Arduino, via a resistor of course. The 1.5 volt for the calculator are taken from the Arduino as well, using a simple voltage divider. I wrote a little Arduino library that I can include wherever I want. For a given number, the library calculates the correct sequence of key presses to display the number. When a new number is provided, it also takes into account the existing number, so that it does not need to start all over. My calculator can read about 10 key presses per second, so that long numbers still need some time to be shown. But I never said that it was a brilliant idea in the first place. I will soon make a second video showing you for what I need that display. Well, I guess from this little video clip here it's kind of obvious anyway. But anyhow, see you next time.